So hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I just wanted to put an idea out there. I recently started selling old Pokemon cards that I didn't realize I still had. Um, and I thought, what can I do with the, with the extra money? I basically found a box full, like I literally mean a box full. Uh, my old Pokemon cards I had when I was a kid, I um, had got them when my uh, parents were clearing out their loft and I just put them in a cupboard about five years ago and just basically forgot they were there. Um, we were clearing out the spare room as we always seem to do every six months because things just seem to accumulate. And I was like, well, opened the box, saw the massive amount of cards and thought, I'll just throw them out. I'll put them to the charity shop. Someone will get used to them somehow. And then I was driving home from work one day, I had Radio 1 on, <clears throat> not something I normally listen to. And I heard that the rapper Logic had bought a Pokemon card for an obscene amount of money. I think we're talking about $200,000 or something crazy. And I thought, I'll just maybe I'll look through the box, <laughs> see if there's anything that is worth anything. If people are stuck at home, um, I'm filming this during the COVID 19 pandemic, so a lot of people are stuck at home and people are just getting into different things. I had realised the card market had come up over the past couple of years. I listened to a lot of Gary V. I listened to his content passively and didn't seem to do anything out of it. And then I thought, here's something I can do. I've got loads of cards that I need to clear the space in the spare room for. And then here we are. So to date, before any eBay fees or delivery fees, I have made £777. Um, that's not the take home fee in my PayPal account, um, which I just find it crazy. I'm two weeks in and I've cleared a lot of space and also made quite a bit of money. Um, a bit of spare money considering uh, so Christmas presents are <laughs> bought this year already um, but I thought we're about to go into another lockdown potentially um, things are starting to restrict more um, I'm filming this in November yep November yep it's the first of November I'm filming this so potentially going into another lockdown and I've been thinking what can I do to keep myself occupied um, apart from shedding the guitar um, and also recording and I thought I'd love to get a bit more hands on with something. Um, there's always DIY to do about the house but I thought I'd love to do something, I'd love to make something or put together something that I'd keep for the rest of my life and so this is where the Jazzmaster project has came in. I had started talking to James down at home at Tone and Dave over at Cherry Guitars who made this guitar for me. Both of those guys actually had a lot to do with this guitar. Dave um, finished the body and made the neck and James also did. Basically I got everything up, um, for this guitar from James. I got the pickups and the wiring um, everything that makes sound for this guitar from James. So uh, he did the wiring, did a really really great job, super clean. I got the Mother Mary strap from James's shop, whom I to and I'll link them below. Um, and I'd I'd fired James a couple of messages on Instagram. I'd basically seen this custom shop, custom shop Jazz Master that was like an obscene amount of money. We're talking like over three and a half grand um, pounds in the UK. And uh, I thought I'm sure I could make this um, or do something similar to my taste. Um, for a lot less money, so kind of the selling the old Pokemon cards and making some money and then needing something to do is kind of where this has came about. So I'd love for you guys to follow along in the journey. 
I've basically spoke to Dave already who made this guitar and we are in the process of getting neckwood sorted out. Um, James down at home at Tone put me in contact with Rexter Guitars, they'll be linked down below as well. I've been talking to John down there about a body and finishing it. So I'm just want to start this little video series to document it getting put together. I think that it'll be a fun process for myself, a learning curve for myself. I'm planning on buying the body finish from John. Um, with Dave, I hope to, if restrictions allow, to have a part in doing some of the work on the neck. Um, whether that's just <laughs> helping him, helping him cut it, um, helping shape the back of the neck, even just helping finish it, just something that I've put my hands on it. Um, the plan is to go to James again down at home at home for wiring and pickups and any other parts that I need and then the plan is to put it all together whether that is in Dave's workshop again if restrictions allow any of this or if it's here so I'm just really excited for it it's going to give me something new to learn and um, brush up on my soldering skills and maybe learn some guitar setup skills in the way I will shoot some more videos when parts start coming in for it when we start selecting wood when we get pictures from John um, about how the body's coming along so I'd just love for you guys to if this interests you to follow along if it would mean the world to me if you could like and subscribe so like this video and then hit the bell icon when you subscribe that will give you a notification for the next video that comes along um, and yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, I've kind of always wanted a jazz master and this seems to be the perfect time to do it, but I'll talk more about that in the next one. So thanks for watching guys and stay safe.